Doing, dog. Woo, we're back live down here in the uh, Comcast Xfinity SEC TV down here in Grant, Connecticut. Hey, next to the old Benny's. Yeah, I'm, Close up. I'm missing Benny's already. Yeah, you getting a bike this year for Christmas? I'm not. <laughs> no. Benny's is closed. I know. So, how are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Everything looks good down here. Frank uh, Puccini is running the show, number one man, <laughs> and uh, everything is great. Um, We'd like to wish you and your family and your children a Merry Christmas and Merry Happy Christmas New Year, right, brother? Happy New Year, absolutely. So how are you doing? We made it on the show before Christmas. We weren't sure if we were going to yep. do it, but we did. This is our 18th Christmas. That's unbelievable. Uh, 18 years, uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that me and Tim have been doing this show. We, we wanted to quit after five, but, <laughs> but we're still here. We're still and here. We, we enjoy yeah. doing it. As a team, we have a lot of fun because we have nothing else in life to do. <laughs> <laughs> we have nothing else to yeah, do. Yeah, we're so. bored, so we yeah. want you to be bored right yeah, along with us. Yeah, we're bored, but there you go, brother. There you are. Wave, Tim. Hey, but listen, we want you people out there to call us tonight and wish us a Merry Christmas so we can get your name and wish you a Merry Christmas. It, just be a quick call. Four four five. Flash the number, Frank. Seven four nine nine. Yeah. Give Tim and the Lou Dog a call tonight. Don't be shy. The, the, look at we got the uh, star behind yeah, us, brother. We, yeah, we got, we, the got the, we got the snowflakes. We got, got the, the snowflakes. Flag. We got, we we got, got a lot going on in here. Yeah. Yeah. Give Give Tim and the Dog a call at four four five seven four. Just wish us a Merry Christmas. If you don't want to give your name, you don't have to. And then that way during the week, you can watch the rerun and say. I was I, on the number one show. I called the show. I called the show. Yep. So if you do that for us, we, that'll make us happy and make the show go by. You know, I've have, only... Because I, we have absolutely nothing to talk I've about. I've only called the show once. I called it a couple of times when um, uh, Ox was on with that uh, Mr. Amazing. But I only called it once, and that's when you were on by yourself. Yeah, huh? yeah I needed help. And you me. had the powder all over your chest. <laughs> You were wearing a Jackson State jersey. Tank top. And you had the powder all over you. I, 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 I said was, to Peg, I said, look at him. I was a mess. And then you're sitting out there and you're going, you know, it's not, it's I not, need my partner. I don't, it's not easy doing I a felt show. I felt loved, dog. Yeah. I, that night I yeah. felt loved. Well, that was uh, 16 years ago. <laughs> that love is long gone. <laughs> How you doing, everybody? <laughs> No love here. No, no love lost here, Happy right? Happy New Year! <laughs> Merry Christmas! Give us a call at 445-7499. And hey, I got the beard going, brother. It looks yeah. not bad. Yeah, looking you know? good. Yeah, looking not good. Not bad for a 45-year-old yeah. man. A little Grecian formula in there. Yeah, I, I got the mixture. Grecian <laughs> <laughs> formula. Why, can you tell? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's but that's good. okay. I mean, yeah. it looks good on you. Oh, indubitably, without yeah. question. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we've uh, we've been doing this show, like I said, for 18 years. Man, where'd it go? You know, that just goes to show how precious life is when we've been sitting up here for 18 years. Actually, it was over in the other studio for a while. Yeah. Uh, but eight, here we are 18 years later. Are the bells driving you nuts? Yeah, keep ringing them. Keep checking your head. Hey, um, hey I, I just took a Viagra, and by the end of the show, this hat. Hey, this hat. Hey, brother, remember that show? Oh, yeah. This hat's going to be like that. Whoop. And now I'm only kidding, Frank. Um, but, yeah. But, you know, it's 18 years. That's a long time. I, I started even, to think I back. I didn't even want to do one. I started to think back of 18 years ago, and I'm like, <clears throat> I was what, 36? You were 36 years old. I was, when we when we started I was, this show, I was 40, and you were 40. Yep. And here we are now, getting ready to collect Social Security, disability, <laughs> Medicaid, Medicaid. 
walker. And, and uh, what's those people? We're going to be coming in on wheelchairs going, all right, Frank, hurry up, set the flag up. <laughs> Who are those people that pick you up at your house and take you to the hospital? What are they called? Help. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we need some help. Hey, 445-7499. Give us a quick call. Make our night. Make it easier. Uh, Tim and the dog are down here. You want to talk a little football? I don't. I know you but, don't. <laughs> you know, I know uh, Tilly's out there. I like to wish, you know what? Oh, I got an announcement to make. A very good announcement about Griff. Oh, Griff's name was in the paper. I know you called me. In the me. obituary. I know you called me about that. And, man, I was crying. You I know. were upset. Yeah, you called me crying about that. Everybody from EB was upset. Man, if Griff would call tonight to make sure he's okay, that would be that would make our night, wouldn't it? It was the wrong Griff. It was the wrong Griff. Yeah. Everybody thought it was our Griff. No. The one we always say hi to. It was the white Griff. It was the white Griff. <laughs> <laughs> it's not nice to say, but, <laughs> but it's true. We, we love Griff. <laughs> oh, sure. <true. laughs> no. There's nobody now, does. Now, it was a Griff from New London. Because I got a call in the morning and say, Dog, did you hear? I says, What? We lost Griff. I says, What? Yeah. And then. Read the paper. I read the paper. <coughs> yeah, Griff's son, and I said, wait a minute. Griff ain't got no kid. As far as, yeah. hey. As far as, as, far we, as know, we know. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, Griff, call in, please. Four, you know four, what Griff five. has? A couple dogs in the dog pound. That's yeah, what he has. Yeah, yeah. well, he, he does that part-time. The one up. that he's paying for. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Griff in the dog pound up, up there in Groton. Yeah, he, he's drinking the water, too. Yeah. yeah, you are too. I actually like living in Groton. I gotta tell you. Yeah, he moved. I I gotta He's tell you, I I hear more the snow plows. The only reason you like living in Groton because you live there now. I hear more snow plows than I ever heard in North Stonington. and you know what? I get up in the morning. And your mailbox is still. My there. mailbox is standing. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> How many times did your mailbox get knocked over in the old house? Ten. At least ten. And then every year you complained about it, and, and everybody Sandy, said too bad. yeah, and then yeah. people started ragging on me on yeah. Facebook about it. Well, go out and buy one. Yeah, but then you said I don't buy a ten dollar. I don't mailbox. buy a ten dollar mail. I buy the hundred dollar mailbox. Yeah, the hundred dollar mailbox. You spend a thousand dollars on mail in mailboxes. <laughs> yep, that's the last thousand I spend so, on mailboxes. So now when they turn the corner at your new house, the mailbox is well back. Yeah, and I know the plow driver. Oh, I'm sure you do. <laughs> What's his name, Jojo? No, it's Berger. Berger. <laughs> Berger. Hey, Berg, yeah. Hey, while you're at it, why don't you do my driveway? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Berger. Now, I, li I, I got to say, I like living close to Mystic. I like well, you have to, because you I, have no choice. I, but I, I, I'm really liking this because All living right. out in North Stonington, everything was so far away except the casino. No, it wasn't. It wasn't that far away. Yeah, you but just, your house was too big for you. It pretty far, to pretty far away driving from your house on a Monday night. Yeah, now you don't have to drive at all. <laughs> just get on the highway. Dogs coming to your house now. But I, I, it's just so nice well, to be I'm close glad. to Mystic. I'm glad you're happy. Everything. Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, I love it there. I love it there. Four four five seven four nine nine eight. Give us a call, wish us a happy holidays, and, you know, just just give us a little chat here. It, yeah, hopefully talk about anything you want. Yeah. I mean, you know, you can talk about how the Yankees are loading up. The Yankees are their... loading up. We need some pitching. I'll tell you what, if we had the Red Sox pitching staff with the Yankees, it'd be a be no, no competition. But we don't. We just signed mm -hmm. uh, CC. He's he's uh, 62 years old yep. with a bum knee. 360. <laughs> 360 pounds, <laughs> but he can snap off a curveball. You oh, can't. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he's got a deadly curveball. Oh, too. I know he does. <laughs> um, you know, we're kind of all over the place tonight, but we do. We lost a lot of good people this year too. Yeah, you know what, brother? You're right. Thinking uh, about the, you know this past Eddie, year. Eddie Harrison, we lost. You know what? Let's let's bring that up right now. Yeah. Well. We will after this phone call. Yeah. Oh, you just. Oh, testing that's it? you. All right, Frank's okay. just testing it. Thanks for testing the phone, Frank. Uh, but uh, yeah, we uh, lost good. Eddie Harrison this year. Eddie uh, passed away about a week ago. He was uh, 78 years old. He, you people that knew Eddie Harrison, what a great man. This guy, <laughs> boy, you talk about smiling and laughing and. Yeah. He had a joke. He was a, he was a good friend of ours. Yeah. He uh 
Mm. We're dedicating this show tonight to Eddie Harrison. Yeah, we're going to dedicate it to Eddie. Because <clears throat> yeah. Eddie would have liked that. And, and we've talked about him before on the show, and he's watched the show before. Oh, many times. And then he'd come down to the establishment and look at me and shake his head and go, what is wrong with you? <laughs> and, yeah, but, yeah. Miss, uh, definitely miss, uh, I'm going to miss Eddie a lot. Going into the Portuguese club. There he was. There he was. And I'd always sit down and talk with Eddie for a while. Yeah. Yeah. He, and Eddie always knew everything that was going on in the town of Stonington, oh. in the borough. Everything, yeah. He was a good man. He, yep. He'll be missed by, uh, believe me, many. He's got two beautiful wife, married 51 years, and two uh, great sons, yep. uh, David and Udi. Yep. Uh, they're, they're good boys, and he raised a good family, and he was a great man. So, and But not only Eddie, but it just seems like, you know, as the years go, you lose friends, you lose family members, you lose a lot of people, and you don't realize it. You know, it's the holidays now, and you think back, and you go, wow. Yeah, when you get in your 50s and 60s, yeah, things, you don't really think that much about it, you know, because it's like, I mean, we're we're relatively healthy, at least I am. Well, I had a good <laughs> Yeah, but your day's coming. <laughs> yeah. I don't know when. You know, you'll live to 100. My grandfather's 100. I know. That's yeah. what I'm saying. You'll make it to 100. I yeah. don't know how, but he will. I don't know who's going to be paying the bills at 100 because it isn't going to be me. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the doctor today for a echocardiogram on the ticker. Yeah. Pass with flying colors. Yeah, that's what I mean. Keep doing what you're doing, dog. <laughs> no, I shouldn't. <laughs> no, no. I don't think that's the right thing to do. Griff! Griff! Four four five seven four nine nine. Come on, Griff. Hey. What do you think of the beard, brother? Yeah, <laughs> beard's looking good, little, dog. Little grease from him? Yeah, you know, Peg wanted me to grow my mustache back. I had that porn mustache going in the, in the 80s. <laughs> and she said to me, because I found, you know when porn you- Porn mustache? You know, when you when you move, you find all kinds of stuff that you hadn't seen in, I don't know how many- you find your mustache? Yeah, well I, well, I found pictures. And, oh. I, and Peg's looking at it, and she goes, why don't you grow that mustache back? Yeah. It's like, I can't bring the 80s back, Peg. No. No. <laughs> I can't bring them back. Hey, it's not going to work. No, I can't bring them back. <laughs> I wish I could. But anyway, say, hey, how about be a phone call? dancing around a pippin, Oh, yeah. Son. I'd be out there tonight like this. Yeah. Yeah. Then after, <laughs> then after you go to Lums for two hot dogs. <laughs> hey, two in the morning, I got to go to Lums and get a couple of wieners. <laughs> hey, and a Diet Coke. And a heartburn. <laughs> <laughs> Lums had the worst hey, hot dog. Get home at two thirty in the morning, wake up at four, and go to work. Yeah. Lay down for an hour. That was funny talking to Luke tonight about the old EB days. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We we met a good friend of ours down there. But anyways, hey, listen. Um, Tim and Dog are here, and uh, like I said, it's our 18th uh, anniversary show for Christmas. I hope you've been watching some of the old shows that Frank's running because we dressed up as Santa Claus and you were the owl. And we had some good. Remember Ox Baker I dressed am? up one year as Santa Claus. Oh yeah, big Ox. Yeah. Oh, he was horrible, Santa. He <laughs> was terrible. <laughs> Man, hey, be, uh, well, yeah. Kids watching, I want to see him. But he was a mess. <laughs> <laughs> but he was fun. How about Jerry? Jerry was actually Couldn't a good Santa. Couldn't get four feet. We won't go there. Jerry was great. Yeah, Jerry was good Santa. Yeah, and then we had the kids on with the presents, and, and we've done we a had, lot of good shows. So this had, is our 18th annual Christmas show. We don't have the singers on. Hey, remember my wife and uh, that girl oh. with the boots up to her? Oh yeah. Whoa. Ooh. Like hey. The boots with this. Leave the boots on. Ah. <laughs> Never mind the song. Look at the boots. Grease the boots yeah. up. Remember got, that year? That was two years ago, wasn't got, it? That was longer than two years ago, no, dog. No, it was two or three. No, dog, that was probably about eight years no, ago. No, it wasn't. That was not two years ago. Yes, it was. When Grace was singing with the boots. Well, Grace had boots on, too, but. Yeah, they were both looking good. <laughs> Boy, they put on a nice show. They did. We yeah. could have had a singer tonight, but it um, didn't work out. No. Yeah. But I tried, so. Things are looking up good. Where's the, uh, we need Griff for the show. We're struggling already. It's quarter after seven. <laughs> I haven't started yet. All right, well, go ahead. What do you got to say? <laughs> um, so this holiday season, 
uh, let's not forget about, instead of buying things for ourselves, because I heard somebody talking at the, at the establishment tonight saying that, oh, you know, I've been buying a lot of things for myself. For it's like, yeah, it's like, you know what? You can do that all year. Yeah. Donate a little bit to the animal shelters. Yes. To the homeless yeah. shelters. And to, uh, to the soup kitchens. And uh, to the stop yeah. and shop. They got the uh, Salvation Army. Yeah, and then the... Uh, um, That's right. Y you know, just different organizations that are out there. A dollar. Take a couple dollars. bucks. Especially, I mean, for me, I'm a big animal guy. Yes. So donate exactly. some money to the animal shelters because they really could use it. Even $10, anything you can do... Would a ten dollar bill will take care of a dog for probably a month. Yeah, That's well, at least food. at least a week, anyways. That's a so. bag of dog food. But you know, I mean, if you're gonna, you know, if you're looking for something to do, if you're looking for some money to donate, always think about the animal shelters and the. Um, and, and you can do that online a lot too. Uh, yeah. With the uh, computer, right? I, I yeah. I'm which, not a big computer whiz, but uh, I know you go on it. But you can donate. On that, is that yeah, is that? like like a lot of people have been saying, instead of birthday gifts, I'd like you to donate money to like a beagle shelter or a, a uh, rescue whatever dogs. rescue dog shelter. And Even I've been cats. And, yeah, and I've been doing more of that lately. Yeah, you know I've no been doubt. you know that makes me feel good that I'm able to try to help a little bit. Because that that commercial on TV when. Man, you know, you uh, yeah. you're, you're but see, the, they try to lock you into a uh, long term you're thing. You're in the middle of a football game. The Giants are 2 and 12. You're about <laughs> ready to smash the TV. Next thing you know, you're, you got a tear rolling down your eye. I know, because those you see dogs these are in crazy. dogs crates. in a cage. I know. And you're like, oh, yeah. man. And you know one Come thing. Come back that, to Earth. And you know one thing that irritates me more than anything is when people, when they remind you on TV or in the paper to bring your dogs in when it's cold. Why do we have to be reminded to bring our animals in when it's cold? Well, when it's 10 below with because, the wind blowing, I, first think, of all, I think he's scratching at your door. Yeah, to be honest with you, if you need to be told to bring your animal in at, at when it's that cold, you shouldn't have an animal. And, right, and I think it's not like the 70s where, I'll be honest with you, we used to tie our dogs up to a doghouse with a 20-foot chain and they'd stay out. Nowadays, you, you, you can't do no, that. No, you can't These do that. And no. you know, and not it, even a cat. And you know, my two dogs, they sit there and they look at me when I get home, and it's like, I couldn't, <laughs> I could never leave them outside. I, I mean, I was over your house today and I saw your two dogs. And speaking of dogs, I, I lost my dog, uh, the brother to yeah, your dog. Yeah, I know, uh, which is really sad. Koopa passed away in my arms and in my wife's arms uh, about six weeks ago. He was 12 and he wasn't doing good, and uh, I'll tell you what, it's, we buried him in the backyard. Um, it was just, it's, it's unbelievable. You lose a pet, it's crazy. You, I know. I mean, I cried for two, three days. <coughs> so that's what I'm saying. You oh, know, so, it's so, you know, I, 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 go ahead, I'm so, sorry. So, well, well, no, what I'm saying is, you know, if you're looking for something to do nice this year, donate to, you know, a home, uh, you know, an animal shelter. Or a homeless shelter, or a veteran shelter, or anything. Yeah. You know, right. just give a little something to them, and it goes a long way. Yeah, trust me. You don't realize, even in the cities with the uh, homeless people, that um, are homeless. You don't. Real, you don't even think about it. You go, oh yeah, and, and seriously, like yeah, oh yeah, there are homeless people. There's a lot of homeless people. Do, do you remember one night when you and I were driving home from Mystic one night? And I made you pull over this when you were driving. And I made you pull over because I wanted to give a guy some money that was on the side of the yes. road. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. Well, I remember that guy when he wasn't homeless. And I went up to him and I gave him some money. And I said, do me a favor and don't buy booze with this. Right. And he looked at me and he goes, I promise you I won't. Right. I said, go get yourself something to eat. Yeah. You know, remember that? Yes. And no doubt. And he did, yeah. and he's still around. And every time I see him, I stop and I try to give him yep. something. Five, ten, because bucks or whatever. Because I remember him from back in the day, and he's a terrific guy, and he fell on some hard times. Yep. We could all fall on hard times. And there was a guy on Route 2 
probably two or three years ago that had a sign. And I know, you know, you think, oh, it's a, it's a sham. Well, I, some of them are. Well, yeah, but I went to Westerly and did my errands, and I picked up a large grinder, a bag of chips, and a big bottle of Diet Mountain Dew. Well, I picked up two. <laughs> <laughs> one for me. Yeah, I know. I know where the other one ah. went. Yeah. Hey, one for me and one for him. <laughs> and Timmy was with me, my son. He's special ed. And he says, what are you doing, Bob? And he calls me Bob. I, I pulled over the road. I went like this. It's come here. And I gave him the large grinder and the soda and the bag of chips. And the guy had a tear in his eye. I says, I want to make sure you had lunch today. Yeah. And he just... Thank you. And I drove off. And you know what? I felt pretty good. Yeah. I had a good day. I went home and drank that uh, bottle of Diet Mountain Dew. <laughs> hey, and another bottle. <laughs> no, but you'll always you know, you know, what you'll we, always feel better when yeah. you give when you give rather than receive. It doesn't right? have to be a lot. That that's the point you're trying to get at. Yes, is, that's the point. You know, a lot of us. Are, I'm not rich. Nobody, it doesn't have to no, be a lot. No, I mean, a lot of us are struggling. A lot of us. I don't Me, know. The you, stock market's up. Stock market's doing good. Right. Yeah, as long as the stock market does good, we're all doing good. Exactly. Right? We need a phone call. 445-7499. Uh, where's Sully and Packrat? Yeah, Packrat called me last night. I didn't get the call because I was uh, out feeding. I was out letting the dog in. <laughs> 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 no, everything is good. But, uh, you know, you're down here live. 18 years, brother, we've been doing this show. It's our 18th anniversary Christmas special. Usually we have a singer on, but the uh, sing hey, singer had laryngitis. Yeah. Isn't that? <coughs> just, just go to show on, we do, on we the main night. Lyron you ever get laryngitis? Well, I wish you would. <laughs> <laughs> every, every Monday after I'm done doing a show with you, I get laryngitis. <laughs> hey, answer the phone. Tim and the Lou Dog. Yo, ho, ho, Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Pack rat. <laughs> How the hell do you know? We were just talking about we you. We were just talking about you. You called me last night, and I was in the shower. And then when I got out, my phone went dead, and I said, I'm not calling you. <laughs> you wouldn't have called me anyway. Oh, uh, yeah. How you doing, Pack? Oh, not too bad. I'm sitting in Houston. Houston? Oh, Houston, yeah. Pack, you're going to be home for Christmas? No. Nope. Oh, really? You're on the road? Yeah, I won't be home until the middle of next month. Oh, really? Wow. So, what do you just do one pickup and from one to another and just go city to city? Yep. Wow. That's pretty much it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our friend Pack Red. He's a truck driver. He drives all over the United States, and he's in Houston. We went to high school together. Uh, we never liked each other till now, <laughs> but, you know, he's, not, he's yeah. not a bad guy. Pack, you, you, you're, you're an independent truck driver, right, Pat? Pack, right? Yeah, I'm an owner-operator, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's a that's a big responsibility for you. What are you hauling now? Oh, jeez, it's, uh, I shouldn't, shouldn't be saying these things. Oh, well, I don't. <laughs> Just say dog food. It, 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 instead of Samsung, it's LG. <laughs> Oh, gotcha. Okay. As long as it's not their washers and dryers, because they're horrible. <laughs> no, no, I think I, I could talk on these. Oh, yeah. okay, gotcha. Yeah, so, all right. So everything's going fine? I hope so. Hey, yeah, you know, too. I, I got to say, I like the videos that you post of uh, your son playing drums. I think that's really Man, cool. Uh, he's very talented. Yeah, he, 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 he's not too bad, is he? And your pool looks good, and I... Pack, I'm gonna be uh, in, I'm gonna be in Florida from five to ten years. I'm leaving the communist state of Connecticut, and I'm gonna be moving to the red state of Florida. Yeah, go down there with a hurricane. <laughs> you don't have to comment on that, Pack. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, yeah, he's gonna move right in next to you. <laughs> he's gonna, hey, to the bars and the witch and. Yeah. He's gonna be using your pool. Because <laughs> I, I am moving to Florida. I am moving to Florida in the next five to ten years, though. No, you're not. Yes, I am. He's lying. I have a plan, Pack. Plan ain't gonna work out. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna just, let me tell you something. You'll wish you'll move back. Every everybody that moves down there wishes they move back. Really? Why? Yep. Why? I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is. I mean, I'm sure it's the cold. 
<laughs> yeah, well, I know, aside from the call, because i got to be honest with you, Peck, it's about 30 degrees out there tonight, and Dog and I, Dog's teeth were chattering, they fell out when he came in. <laughs> 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 that effort that ain't working. I gotta go back to stopping shot. Pack, you got any effort in your truck? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Shut up, Pack. That. That's ain't right. Oh, we, man. We, yeah, we ain't left <laughs> Hey, but listen, Pack. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Keep the health, brother. Keep the faith, and uh, to you and your family, and drive safe. Yeah, I tried to. I know you too. The good thing about it is, is that, that I don't see you on the road. <laughs> Pack, I was going to say, what part of the country is the worst part of the country to drive in? You as a professional driver would know this. All right. Give me a second. There, there's a lot of bad places, I'll tell you. Right. And, and, and I'm telling you, there ain't no real good place. Not nowadays. Boy. I know. It's pretty, da it's pretty dangerous out there, isn't it? Yeah, I know. So many one finger salutes out there, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, it's it's yeah. starting to work. But, 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 <laughs> but if you had to pick the worst place in the United States to drive a, a, a rig like what you drive, what do you drive? 53 foot, right? Yeah. yeah. It, it's uh, Texas. Texas? Texas. That's the worst place for you to drive? Absolute. Dallas, Texas. Really? Yep. Why? Just it ain't that great either, but Dallas is bad. No kidding. Just because it's of the... It's the traffic. Just because of the traffic, yeah. Yeah. Wow. It starts, it, it starts in the morning, and it doesn't let up at all. You know, you wonder where everybody's going. There's too many people in this well, world. Yeah, I know. Where's everybody going? It's like... I think they just get out and drive around. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> they see pack rat. Right? It's going yeah. to do circles around pack. <laughs> so you know what it is? You ever see that Staples commercial? Which one? The one where there's, there's, it looks like a traffic jam and it's everybody around the Staples truck. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is that what it's like for you? Yeah, that's what it's like for me. It's horrible. Wow. <laughs> Man, <laughs> hey, you must you must have the, the grip on the wheel sometimes, huh? Man, eh, sometimes I want to turn it. <laughs> Back in 1975, you had the grip around my neck until Jamie ain't pulled him off me. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't true. Uh... All right, Pac, you have a great evening. Yeah, I'll try to. Yeah, Merry Christmas. I, 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 I got to deliver a, a load of pretzels down Danny's. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my friend. Yeah. They're a dollar a bag. <laughs> well, they're not these. They're more expensive. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Pac. Yep, you too. You All have right. a good one. Take care, brother. Hope you both have a good Christmas. Get some Thank sleep. You. you sound tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you just wear that dog. Uh, <laughs> Bad, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> bap, 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 bap. Yeah. Uh, Head over to the Lone Star Ranch for a couple. <laughs> the you don't think? just woke me up. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, the marshal. <laughs> yeah, the marshal just woke me up. All right, I'm uh, glad he did. All, all right, right. Pac. Merry Christmas, brother. Yep, all right, you have a good one. <laughs> that was our friend Pac Rat from Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. We get calls from everywhere. He said Dallas was the worst place to drive. Oh. See, I would have thought he, believe it or not, another call, another I, would have thought, I would have thought he would have said Connecticut, to be honest with you. Tim and the Lou Dog. Hey, yo! Oh, yeah, hey! What? Hey, hey, wait a minute, wait a minute, Patty. Patty, it's working. Hey, hey. No, Look. Patty, wait. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. What's up, Patty? Hey, Dave, what happened to you Saturday? What happened? It's time to go. It's getting dark out. Ah, oh, you should have hung out with us. No, I can't. I can't. After four o'clock, my teeth fall out, and I <laughs> and I got to go home. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Uh, hey, no. I heard that Bob's gonna be on wrestling tonight as general manager. You know, he told me that he was up to something, but he wouldn't tell me what. Well, my son will tell me. Uh, he's watching. Because I, Bob, Bob, found out. Bob told me that he was traveling to Florida. And he's, no, he's, he's in going Providence down to see tonight. He's Where is he? Providence. Oh, he's in Providence? Yeah, I'll, he's going to be in wrestling tonight. Really? Yeah, I just heard about that. Well, who, who what told time, you? What time does that start? Eight well, I found out from two people in the donut shop, and I got an email from Bob this morning. 
<laughs> Bob, who? <laughs> Ruby Vine? <laughs> um, no, you know something, Patty? He didn't tell me that last night. He told me no. on Saturday he was working on something. No, I asked he him did, last No, night. he well, told I'll me. Talk to him, then we'll talk to him. All right. Him. He was working on Providence, so I'm wrestling tonight. All right, well, I hope it comes through. Well, you, you people yeah. out there watching WWE tonight, because our friend Bob Backlund, who's on this show a lot, it's going to yeah. be doing something. Yep. That's from Patty Logan from Parker Tuck. And if, and if it doesn't work out, blame her. Patty, <laughs> email Bob now and tell him Tim and the dog will meet him at the doll later. Hey, Patty. <laughs> <laughs> call him up and tell him to call the show. I got his number. Yeah. No, call him hey, up. We had, a, we had a good time Saturday. Oh. I had a great time with you, Patty. <laughs> that yeah. was a lot of fun. You know, all the pictures we took, I, I put on my Facebook for my, you know, my photo albums. Nice, nice. Oh, I love them. Yeah, yeah. I, heard, I heard you and Pellin were dancing. <laughs> <laughs> we were. No, we yeah, you get... were holding them up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to Yeah, I had, I had the little, I had the little weave going Your for a little hurting. bit. Your leg was hurting. Yeah, my knee was killing yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. yeah I knee. was, I had a wounded knee. Yeah. Yes, he did. Yeah, he's yeah. an Indian. His name's Green. Standing up, no less. What's that? Huh? Standing up, no less. <laughs> well, you know, the earth shifted on me. <laughs> I know. I, I, I got that Saturday. Yeah. All right. Never mind. It man. happens occasionally. Well, we want to wish you a Merry Christmas, uh, Patty, and thank you for calling on our 18th Christmas special. Yeah, 18 years, hey, Patty. I, I can't miss you guys. 18 right. years, Patty. Hey, tell Chrissy, <laughs> tell Chrissy we said Merry Christmas and Sandy. I will. Okay. I'll be here in summer. All right. You tell those guys we said Merry Christmas, and Patty, you have a I Merry will. Christmas. Why don't you call her, Tim? She's waiting. No. <laughs> that ain't happening. No. I, when no. I, if I can get up the nerve, I will do it. I'm a no. very nervous guy, you yeah, know? No, he, he, no, it's not happening. Hey, you got her cell number. Just give her an <laughs> Patty, we're on live TV. <laughs> Call him later. Bye. <laughs> He's, she can't be doing that. What's wrong with Patty? Merry Christmas, Patty. Merry Christmas, Patty. We love Patty. We do love Patty. I did hang up on her. She's starting I, I was so I, I was so happy to see her show Patty up Saturday. Good. Yeah, yes. she had a... She had a smile on her that would. That oh was, yeah, was nice. when she when she walked it was a in. a holiday smile. Yeah, when she walked in, she was pretty happy to see. Yeah, us. she got a nice smile. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I mean, I didn't mean to hang up on you, Patty. But hey, the secret's got to you know stay yeah, within. Hey, the, yeah, hey, something's got to stay in the closet, Patty. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We yeah. can't let all the no. Lou cats out of the bag, you know. <laughs> Yeah, the Lou Cat. It's my new name, Lou <laughs> Cat. Hey, couple more calls here. Four four five seven four nine nine. Boy, I sure would like to hear from Griff. So, oh. dog. What? While we got nothing going on, Maybe let me. You don't have nothing going on, but I do. <laughs> let me ask you, as a Giants fan. Oh no. And I'm going to bring up football because I have to. All right, go ahead. Because you're twelve and three. And so what? No, 11 and 3. Oh, oh, excuse me. So what are the Giants going to do next year? Are they going to keep Spagnola as a coach? Personally, I like him. No. No, you don't think so? No. And are they going to keep Eli Manning? No. No. So what's going to happen with the Giants? They're going to get the second round pick because the Browns are the only team that's worse than them. Yeah. And that's bad. Yeah. No, and, second uh, pick they're going to get. Yeah. And I think um, they either going to draft the quarterback from... USC or UCLA, but they got this kid uh, third string they drafted last year that they're grooming. I think they should draft the offensive lineman from Notre Dame, uh, the left tackle there. You know yourself, offensive linemen. You got to get an offensive. Are two of them are the most important players. First three on a rounds team. should be offensive. Yeah, linemen. It, because they're the most important well, players on a football team. They got a couple decent running backs. The, the wide receivers will be back, and they need a couple uh, linebackers. So. Yeah. No, but, but they need but they need offensive free, linemen. Free agents, you can get linebackers, right. you can get defensive backs. Right. But offensive linemen, you got to get them. Two, you got to get them in the two draft. Two kids from Notre Dame are yeah. all Americans. They yeah. play right next to each other. Yep. Right guard, no. Left tackle and left guard. There's yeah. two of them. Yep. Get them two. Yep. Get rid of the 74. Hey. Flag. Guy gets a 30-yard run. Flag. <laughs> I'm like this. Hey, hey, take that. I'm like this. You know, I'm rubbing my head. Hey, 
Hold in, <laughs> number 74, <laughs> Giants. I says, Tint, my son comes up. What's the matter with him? Number 74, I, I call the play. Hold it. <laughs> 74, 15 yards. Yeah, okay. Three plays later, Eli throws a 40 yard bomb to, to Ray Brown because he's from uptown. Hey, hey, flag. Hey. Hold it. Number 74. When, where did they get this guy from? She, you know. Hey, if he don't get five pounds, five funny. holding plays it. Hold it. Number 74, Giants. When are you going to take this guy out? Because the guy, he's so slow. The guy goes around him, he, he just grabs him, he throws him down, you know, because he's going to kill Eli. Hey, and he stands there, he's like this. It's like Jamie Caswell. He used to throw you down. Yeah, there's no penalty on that. That's so, pretty funny. So, to answer your question, we need a lot of help. Yeah. Yeah, we need a new team. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, let me ask you a question there, Mr. Patriots. Aren't you sick and tired of winning every year? Come on. I got to say, I watched Jeez. the game. I watched the game yesterday. Kind of in and out of falling asleep. Yeah, you, you've been working hard lately. Yeah. Getting called into work, right? <laughs> a mess on Saturday. <laughs> yeah. uh, so anyway, I watched it. And I woke up, and I, I think I woke up on the final drive. I think they're stealing when, when bone when Gronk was was tearing it up. Yeah, Gronk had a good game. <coughs> He's a good player. Just throw him. He's gonna catch it. He's six foot eleven. Huge. Whatever he is. How, how do you take him down? You don't. That's like and you can't touch him. Or no. It's a penalty. Hey, holding <laughs> number seventy four. <sighs> but the Patriots that game yesterday, I agree. How is that not a catch by the Steelers? I don't know. I mean, wow. You know, I'm looking at it and I'm going, all right, so what and is... you're in Pittsburgh. What Do they <coughs> love, do they love uh, Brady or what? So I mean, I, I know there's a lot of Patriot fans out there. I, I don't mean to interrupt. But, no, oh. but, I'm, but I'm sitting there going, how it's is this despicable. not a touchdown? Despicable. And believe me, I'm a Pats fan. I've been a Pats fan for 20 years. You should have season tickets. Yeah, I had season tickets for... I got stories about Foxborough. Yeah, but we're not going to. Because uh, I'm in half of them, so never mind. Yeah, I got some good stories yeah, about Foxborough. Yeah, yeah, flat tire. Man, and... I could, oh, I could, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, so, you know what? So, yeah, oh, I'm sorry. I had hey, a lot of flat tires. you right. I had a lot of flat tires hey, at Foxborough. Hey, you going to stop bleeding? I'm going to this. I had a lot of flat tires at Foxborough. <laughs> Is your wife watching the show? Nah, she doesn't watch. She is tonight. Nah, she doesn't watch. But anyway, hey. nah, she told me I'm ridiculous. She yeah. looked at me and she goes, when are you going to grow up? I say, hey. I'm not. <laughs> when are you going to stop hanging around with the dog? Yeah, no, that's what she oh, asked I'm me. not. What, one night she asked me, she goes, are you ever going to grow up? No. No. No, do I have to? Really? What? Why? Is you're, there you're a, all right. Is there a law that says I got to grow you up? pay all the bills and everything? Yeah. It's a different time I here. get up and go to work every yeah. day. Hey, 445-7499. <laughs> we need a couple more calls to, to get us through another 20 minutes. Yeah. Hey, so uh, what's she talking about, Bob? I talked to Bob Backlund on the phone last night for half an hour. I told you this. He didn't say nothing about going to Providence. He's well, not, no, he's not, no, she might be right. No, he's not going to he Providence. He told me he was working on something. Yeah, it, you know what? And that protege you had, he got fired. <laughs> That's what he told me last night. I said, Bob, they spit people out and they chew them up and they get somebody else in. Yeah. I didn't want to say the guy changed for a three. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, you know. Yeah. But, but uh, no, they, they, these wrestlers, they just go through. Bob never told me he was going to Providence tonight. He didn't tell me that either. But no. who knows? Maybe he is. I think he would have told me. Yeah. What do you think? There was a toe tapper there on Saturday. Never mind the toe tappers. <laughs> don't stop. They don't even know what we're talking about. No, we, know had about a, we had a party at Angie's and Mystic Bob Backlund was there for a book signing. We all went down. It was pretty good. We had a band and it was a good time. We it was had, fun. Yeah. We had, uh, Chris and Nino did a good job. Yeah, he did a fine job. Yeah. And we had this um, uh, Nikolai Volkov's daughter, <laughs> uh, Mrs., Mrs. Volkov. Yeah. And um, if she'd like me to sing the Russian national anthem, I'll sing it right now. No. Say <laughs> lo, hachilo, bachilo. 
You want me to keep going? No. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, I'm a little dry, but I'm out. <coughs> no, I can sing that Russian national. Oh, I know you can. I've heard it. I don't know, probably over 18 years, I bet you I've heard it at least 20 times. Well, 18 times at least, once a year. Once a year, yeah. But anyway, 84457, hey, four, where's John Campbell? Can't wish us a Merry Christmas? John I want, Campbell. I want to know how the vote's going in North Stonington, even uh -oh. though I don't uh -oh. live uh -oh. there anymore. We got, oh, we got to bring him over here. Oh, get him. look yeah, who's get, here. Yeah, get him. Talking about the dogs, get him. Come here, buddy. Max. Come here, Max. Come here. Come here. Go get him. Give me He's money. coming to you, dog. Hey, <laughs> come here. What do we got here? Oh, yeah, yeah. I got something that'll get him. Ladies and gentlemen, we were talking about the uh, dog rescue and all that. Yes. Hey, get, get him up here. Get, Max, come get, here, get him up here. Come here, come here. Come here. Give him the bone. You, you can get out of your oh, chair. No, you gotta, yeah, I know. You, know you, you can get up. <laughs> get him. Come here, buddy. Come here. Well, I got to give him a cookie first. Yeah, well, all right. Yeah, well, we have a special guest. There he is. Come here, buddy. Come here. Hey, excuse me. Get, give what? Me, give me the mic. Take the mic. Oh, you grab him. Come here. I don't want to grab him. Well, get him. <laughs> we want to show the people out there. Dog, you go get him. Take All your right. mic off. Frank. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is this give is what I'm talking yeah, about right here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. This is what I'm talking about right here. Uh, <laughs> okay. Hey, look, look. Yes. Look, wait, Frank wants his hat. This, this is a rescue dog. Is it a rescue dog, Frank? No, yes. Yes. Look at <laughs> This is a rescue dog. He's a so, Shih Tzu. He's a Shih Tzu. Mm. So what we do, we donate to give to help dogs like this. <laughs> this is <laughs> Max's, uh, Max's hat fell off. <laughs> That's an eight. But this is... Your money goes to help dogs like this. And he's such a sweetheart, this dog. Love this dog. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see for a second. Let me see. Oh. Okay. Come over here. All see, right. Come over here and see the dog. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Look. Look. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't beat this. This makes our night. Look at Look. Oh, another treat. You want a treat, Tim? <laughs> <laughs> this is Max. This is Frank. Uh, Pacini's dog. Look at, look at, look, look, look. Get a close up of him, Frank. Yep. Look at him. This is one of the best dogs. I have a Shih Tzu at home myself. Yep. His name is Mickey. But this is a rescue dog. And look at him. He's absolute. This is Frank's best friend. Yeah. Mine too. Yep. And he, and, uh, he is beautiful. Tim and the Lou dog. Hey, Tim. Yes. Big Jeff here, Nico's dad. Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. We're up in uh, Providence at the uh, at Raw, Monday Night Raw. All right, so is Backlund part of this? I, he may be here. I'm not sure. I, I hear uh, the big event is Brock Lesnar against uh, Braun Strowman. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So, well, you'll, well. Uh, hey, you talk about getting live right on the scene. Right here. on we, the scene. I know. We this got is, the number one show. Go. Who's this? This is awesome. How, now, how did you know that uh, we were on tonight? My wife saw you at Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> Who's his wife? She said you were funny, but you didn't say hello. Oh, well, you know, a lot of times Dog and I can't see nothing, so. <laughs> yeah, we're blind. We're, we're, yeah, we're, neither one of us can see anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, give me a call in and wish you Merry Christmas and uh, Happy New Year. Thank you very well, much. Thank you, and the same goes to you. And enjoy yourself up at the Civic Center tonight. They do, they do a great show at the Civic Center. Or sorry, the Dunk. You know, but <laughs> I wish you could see. Oh, yeah. I wish you could see this live right now. We got a little Shih Tzu on here right now. Yeah, and he's, doing uh, great. he's an awesome dog. Um, yeah. But anyway, uh, thanks for the call. Awesome. Hey. Yeah. Hey, thanks we, for the call, we brother. Appreciate it. We were it. just talking about right. Providence. Yeah. Thank we, yeah. Great. The best place to. Wrestling, uh, it really is, you know. I, I mean that that uh, the Civic Center has always been a great place to see a show. Oh, I've been there many times. The first time I went to Providence Civic Center was 1977 to see the Beach Boys. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. All right, Take brother. The pictures, I'll post them on your site for you. Yeah, please do. I appreciate that. Send them over here. All right, thank you. Apologize, thank you, brother. Apologize to your wife for not saying hi. <laughs> I probably didn't see her, unfortunately. You know. Who, who's this? That's cool. All right, thank you. All right, thanks, brother. Hey, let's see you. Merry Christmas. The same to you. Who's that, brother? That's Nico. Who's Nico? 
Let me put Max's. Yeah. Look at Hey, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> come on. I know, huh? Like we talked about. Hey, Patty was talking about Bob. We got a call right from the Providence Civic Center. Yeah. Are we? Hey, are we good or what? Come yeah. on. You got to give us credit. We at least we know a few people. Right. But look nice. at this dog. Now tell me a twenty dollar bill to help this dog. <clears throat> look at huh? Right there. Look at this dog. This dog is <laughs> probably one of the. Nicest dog. Look, hey, they look like twins. <laughs> hey, his teeth don't fall out, do they? <laughs> no, not like yours. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> He's a beautiful animal. Dog's like Tilly. When he gets cold, his teeth fall out. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about Tilly? Yeah. Hey, Tilly. Hey, Adolf, though. Oh, oh, yeah, you, yeah, you just, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because I went to a baseball game with Adolf. I went to Patriots Day with him. I know you told and, me. And until he's sitting there, it was cold as heck. It was April, you know. It's Patriots Day, so he's sitting there like this. Yeah, break that up for him. It's sitting there, yeah, and I'm like, Tilly, what's the matter? He goes, Arr. he's put, trying, <laughs> right, to put his, right. <laughs> trying to put his teeth back in his mouth. Yeah. Hey, give us a yeah. couple calls here and let us know what you think about Max. Yeah, say hi to Max, and don't forget. Don't forget hey. your local animal shelters. Yeah, there, you know, even even cats are, are there, and you know, yeah. a cat is, geez, a cat. What do they do? They sleep eighteen hours a day. I mean, I'll tell you what. Instead of buying stuff for myself now, what I do is I give money to the animals. Yeah, shelters. I donate myself, and uh, I live right next to a vet, and um, there's nothing like it. I mean, you see some yep. of these animals on TV that need help, and you don't realize the animals. Uh, you don't realize around. how many jerks that own animals that abuse yeah. them. Oh, you you hear stories on TV and the news, and it's just it unbelievable. Makes... But we're not going to talk about <coughs> the negative things. Let's talk positive about. Look at this dog. Yeah, he's nervous. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll he... let him down. I think he likes me. No, we'll <laughs> dog, let him down. No, he's good. I like Max. All right, we'll let him down. What's that on your knee? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Nothing. I'm only kidding. Yeah. Max, you're sweetie. Okay, so, ladies and gentlemen, look at this little puppy. Oh, he's full grown. Yeah. He, hey, what do you think, buddy? But, you know, before he, you hey, get... Hey, he's hating a hat. I know. Before you get an animal, make sure it's the right animal. Yeah, you make know? sure you, you, you get the right house. Because you, you the can... little puppies are cool until they get big. And then all of a sudden, it's like... Uh-oh. Yeah. There's a bomb in the house. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. But <laughs> cats are easy too. Cats, hey, cats are homeless too. They go right in the poop box. Yeah. They're pretty good. Cats, yeah. cats are automatic. Right. Just got to change the poop box. Right. So. Okay, right. we're going to let Max right, go Tim, back. You grab him. Yep. Come on, buddy. He's, and is yeah. here's all the treats. Okay. Good boy. Yeah. yeah. He, he wants another one. <laughs> He one. earned it. He sat on your lap. Yeah, give him another one. Why no, I don't want to give him too many. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Frank. Frank, yeah. What's the matter, Frank? Huh? Smoke. Come on. What do you say? Smoke. No, there's no smoke. Yeah, let's get the fire department here. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome, Frank. We're not. <laughs> Frank, we're not smoking. We would be the only show ever. To have the fire department show. No, we don't need the fire department. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> hey, but that's okay. We got about 10 minutes left down here, and uh, Frank's dog is. Frank, your dog is. I love you, Precious. Dog, Look at him. Frank, you see that bag? If he jumps in there, he's going home yeah. with me. <laughs> you going to unplug it, Frank? I just turned it down. Turn what down? The light. Oh, that it's one? It's hitting the tape. That's what that hurt. Oh, it's hitting the tape? Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that, is that EB Green? <laughs> that, that's why it's burning. Man, remember them rolls EB Green you used to put your car together with them? I remember guys putting it on their chest, and when they got home and they took it off, oh. they had no hair left. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that Gorilla Tape you can buy. Hey, when you and Luke were talking about stories from EB, when you guys revolted that day, mm. when you guys got a $100 bonus <laughs> and nobody went back to work? No. That's a priceless story. Oh, well, I could. I don't want to talk about it now, but <laughs> the National Guard came. Yeah, <laughs> the riot squad the SWAT came down. Team. Yeah, it was crazy. That's a priceless story. Back in 1989, mm. Man, it was crazy. Hey, but listen, <coughs> you saw the dog, little Shih Tzu Max. I mean, 
And he was shaking a little because, you know, he doesn't like Tim because he's got fleas. No, he's nervous but. with the dog. <laughs> he's nervous with the big dog. But, he's uh, fine with me. Yeah. Well, anyways, hey, five, ten dollars, like we said, you know what to do, ladies Yeah, whatever and you can give. You don't have to I know give it's a hard lot. enough to take care of yourself and pay your own bills, but it's a holiday season. Do what you can. Yeah, I like I said. We're not telling you what to do, right, Bob? I always try to give just yeah. whatever I can. Just a little bit. It yeah. helps. Yeah. So yeah. give us a call. We got 10 minutes, 9 minutes, 445-7499. Wish us a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And we'll, we'll there, see? That's all you, yeah, that's all you gotta do is ask, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Tim and the dog. Hey, Tim, you want to get rid of that dog? I'll take him. Oh, yeah, that's a, hey, Patty, that's, an, that's an awesome dog right there. He's adorable. I'm looking for another one to replace my beagle. Yeah, he's an awesome dog. Well, you, go to the, hey, tell her where to go. You know what, Patty, any one of these shelters, you know, you can go down there and pick one up. They got one right in Westerly. Uh, yeah. I mean, I know. Especially, oh, he's adorable. especially the abused dogs. You know, oh, that, I've been abused my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Patty, that dog there. Frank Frank takes extreme care of that dog. That dog is precious. That dog that dog has a nice life right now. You mess with that dog, you're messing oh. with Frank. Yeah, he's got a nice <laughs> life right now. Yeah. He is adorable. I wouldn't mind a little dog like that. Yeah. Me yeah. neither. I got a big, I got a big dog that's a big pain in my rear. But you got a little one too. <laughs> that dog's not a pain. Oh. No, I'm talking about you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I got a, I got a uh, sheet zoo. I want <laughs> yeah. sitting right next to me. Hey, I told you about Bob being in Providence. Yeah, yeah well, but we gotta find out. I'm gonna call my son up and find out what's going on here, cause. What? Well, you know what I heard down at the Dory shop was the tickets are 75 bucks, and they oh, finally Shane McMahon from Tuesday Night Smackdown with Daniel Bryan. Okay. All of one match that wasn't fair to the other wrestlers. All right. Well, so, well we're going to find out. Bob did they say... Got, they got Bob to fill in tonight. Bob did say he was Tonight's working. Monday. He's on... He, she might be thinking tomorrow night on uh, He's going to do good. He's no, going to no, do he, good. No, no. He did say he had something going on tonight. Might be Smackdown. Yeah, it might uh, be. All, all right. right. Patty, we'll be watching. All right, darling. Take care. Merry Christmas. Yeah, all right, darling. You hey, keep your eye on the train wreck, will you? Yeah, I, yeah which, the one next to me? <laughs> the train wreck. Yeah, you got room to talk. I think I behave tonight. I think here again. Uh... Tim and the dog? Okay. Hey, what's happening? It's Paul Bruno. Hey, Paulie Bruno, what's up, brother? Hey. <laughs> I, want, I want to congratulate you on your 18th anniversary of the Christmas show. Thank you. I wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and look forward to seeing you next year. You too, sir. Well, thank you very much. Maybe, uh, okay. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, okay. And uh, you know, have a few fresh refreshments. All right. <laughs> you too. Good thank night. you. Take care. Yeah, you too. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paulie Bruno. Good friend of mine from Parkentuck. It's a nice call. Yeah, he's a good man. Yeah. He's been in EB a long time. Has he? Oh yeah, he's uh, he's a. You know, one of these nights we gotta get some of the old timers from EB on to talk about the old days at EB. Uh, no, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> no. You, ever, you, ever, you remember the wrestling events back in the 70s when somebody was bleeding, they had a big X on the screen? Yeah, that's yeah, what well, you got to yeah, put up for that. Yeah, that's what you got to be put on, yeah. <laughs> that ain't happening. But thank, hey. th wait a minute, wait, let, me, let me finish. Thank you, Paulie, Paulie Bruno, and uh, God bless you and your family. I'm, I'm, and I mean that. I'm surprised those boats are still floating. Simmer down. <laughs> Tim and the Lou Dog. Hello. 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 This is CMS 111. Okay, how you doing, CMS 111? Bad. I saw Lou Dog at a party the other night down here in North Stonington, and I just want to wish you guys a happy new year and a merry Christmas. Oh, Charlie, you made my night. Thanks, Charlie. You can't disguise your voice, pal. Ah, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie, Santa Claus is buying you a bottle of iron soda for Christmas. Yep. I hope so. Charlie, the only thing I miss about North Stonington is you and Lou Dog. That's it. <laughs> well, Charlie... I want to wish you a Merry Christmas, and God bless you, and thank you for calling. Yeah, okay.
Okay, guys. Love okay. you, Charlie. God bless you. Take care of yourself, guys. Um, Bye. That's the true mayor of North Stonington right Charlie, there. Charlie. Schmitty. That's the true mayor of North Schmitty. Stonington. Schmitty. That's the true mayor of well, North Well, I got a little story about Schmitty. I wish he would have run for first selectman. Schmitty don't want nothing to do with it. I know, but I wish he would have. Well, he already is. He is the first selectman. He's the mayor of North <laughs> hey, Stonington. I remember one day I was a little short coming into the fair in my truck. <laughs> and Schmitty was working. Hey, <clears throat> Schmitty was working. It's 100 degrees out. Yeah. And Did you I, give him a little water uh, store? <laughs> <laughs> so I was a dollar short. Schmitty's going, yeah. man, I don't know if I can let you in. I said, Smitty, I'll tell you what, I'll give you this glass of orange soda. No, it was a bottle. You know, I got it. You know, a bottle of orange soda. Yeah. So I gave it to Smitty. She's going, slide in, you know. <coughs> what? Well, well, what do you say? Go park down by the Lewis's? <coughs> oh, yeah, that's where I went. <laughs> but an hour or two later, he was looking for me. He wanted to know the bottle of orange soda. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Smitty. <laughs> yeah. Hey, thanks, Paulie Bruno, Smitty. Smitty. Uh, thank you. So that, you know Smitty what? Smitty Colin made my night. And Paulie Bruno yeah. made mine because yep. I see Paulie a lot. That Paulie's a good night. man. Yep. Paulie for Paulie, he's got a beautiful family. He's Smitty, got what, kids and what everything. What would my father think of me right now sitting on this show <clears throat> with an elf hat on? Ah, who cares? I know. But my mother looks at me all the time and says, are you ever going to grow up? <clears throat> no. I, I come going back to the grow up thing. Yeah, I know. I told her, I said, Ma, no, no, no. it's not happening. Well, guess what? <laughs> it's 7.58. And like I said, Paulie Bruno, God bless you, you and your family and your grandkids and everybody. Smitty, Smitty called in. What, what did he say, one yeah. minute? Smitty, there's buds for you. <laughs> yeah, later on. <laughs> but, uh, hey, we'd like to wish everybody out there a Merry Christmas. And um, I'd like to say one thing before we go, brother, and then you can close out. Take care of your family, your children. You know, if you can't afford a lot of things, don't buy it. Just be happy, have a good meal, a couple cold ones here and there, and, and wish your health, which is key, because you know I've been struggling with a few problems, but I got some good news today. Everything's running better, brother. What, what do you got to say? Don't let the little things bother you in life. Have fun, laugh every day, get along with your family, enjoy what you have, be thankful every day and do your best every day you wake up and you breathing be thankful yep brother merry christmas from me to you i love you <laughs> yeah and god bless you to frank Vicini. yep if everybody out there watching 18 years tim and the lou dog would like to say good night and merry christmas and we're still talking to each other <laughs> god bless <laughs> good night everybody yeah brother